Hey, family and friends, it's Friday night, and we're going to start praying in a few moments. And I thank you so much for uh, logging on, and I thank you for your faithfulness uh, in this uh, instrument, in this gift, in this, let's put it up to another level, in this assignment, let's put it up to another level, in this mandate of prayer. Uh, as long as you and I see prayer as an option, our flesh is not going to pray. Jesus said that. But if you put it at a higher level where it, it's like the assignment of God on my life, it's the appointment with God, or even go higher, um, it's the mandate of a Christian to pray. Uh, then it takes all forms of excuses uh, out of it. And the, the challenge for us that are on this line right now is, is that most Christians um, don't see it that way. They see it as an option. And so uh, thank God for the little two-minute, five-minute prayers that are done infrequently or every day. But you and I know um, what is going on in this world. We know what's at stake. We know what's at risk. Uh, the sons of Ishkar, we can discern the times that we are walking in. We recognize the Bible is true. These are the last days. And because of that, um, everything in our arsenal, the armor of God, and then the last piece of armor deals with that, that, that spear that's thrust in Ephesians 6.18, which is prayer. And you and I cannot have complete victory in the spiritual realm or uh, be valiant in battle against the forces of hell or engage in spiritual warfare outside of the prayer being a mandate. I mean, I don't know about you, without guilt or legalism, I, I, I would feel awkward. I feel awkward if, if, I'm, if I haven't prayed that day. And I even now at a level where I feel awkward if I'm not a prayed the amount of time that uh, I have committed to prayer. I, I feel like I've shortchanged myself. I feel like I've shortchanged God. And you have a right to judge me on that. But I, I think I'm talking to somebody today. I'm talking to people today that are of like minded, that are are feeling like, you know what? Um, uh, I just, I, I will pray. I'm committed to praying. Uh, I will spend a long, long times in play, prayer. Jesus didn't pray, just lay me down to sleep five minute prayers. The Bible would say he prayed all night in certain occasions. So th those are real separated, planned out ahead times of prayer. Those, these are what the old saints would call prayer vigils. Uh, back in the day, you'd have uh, all night prayer, watch night prayers. Uh, these, these were not for the faint hearted. These were not for the weak minded. These were not for the misfocused. Uh, these were not for the distracted. Um, these were really for the mature that would um, just drive their feet into the ground and just pray through, pray through. Pray through what the Spirit of God leads them. Pray through an agenda. Pray through a need. Uh, pray through an urgency. And uh, I think we need to get to that point again. And I feel like that's the way, where God's leading us. I'm going to read to you a scripture that I'd like to share today. And uh, today we're going to talk about, we're going to pray a confession, a confessional prayer. Um, the Bible says in Job 22, verse 28, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Uh, it also says in Psalms, I will declare the decree, and the Lord has said to me, Thou art my son, and this day have I begotten to you. So you see the word declare, and you see the word decree. Uh, in the New Testament, in Hebrews 10 and verse 23, he talks about, let us hold fast to the confession or profession of our faith. And today we're going to do the prayer of confession and we're going to do the prayer of uh, profession. 
So the way it's going to go is is that I will say something in the realm of a, a p- profession, and I'll break for just a split second to give you an opportunity um, to say the same thing in a profession or in a confession, and that's the way the the pr- prayer will go. So it'll be like something like this. Uh, whether I say the word confess or decree or declare, it doesn't matter, but I'll just say it for right now. I confess that from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, I'm healed. And I'll wait. And you'll say the same thing. I confess from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, I'm healed. That's not one of the confessions, but I'm trying to give you an example. So let's just lift our hands. Let's just spend some time right now. And let's just worship with your own mouth, with your own words, with your own heart. Give him honor, give him glory, give him praise. Remind yourself who he is to you. Tell God how much you love him, how much he means to you. He's the reigner, he's the ruler. He's all authoritative, he's all powerful. He's great, he's mighty. He has dominion, he has a throne. He's worthy to be praised. His name is Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God. He is majesty, royalty. He is high and he is lifted up. He is the God that is more than enough. He is Al Shaddai. He Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He's Jehovah Rapha, our healer. He's the God that lives within us. He's a God that's ever present. He's a God that never leaves us nor forsakes us. He's a God that loved us till death. He's a God that of grace, he's a God of strength, he's a God of wisdom, he's a God of mercy, he's a God of forgiveness. He's a God that died for us, sacrificed for us, suffered for us, was marred and beaten for us. He's a God that sits upon a throne. He has a heaven, he has rewards, he has blessings, and we worship him as our Father. Today, Lord, we bring our confessions before you. We bring our professions before you and we bring our declarations before you. And we thank you, Lord, today that we are healed by Jesus' stripes. We thank you that there is no sickness nor disease that can touch our healthy bodies. Thank you, Lord, that we have the mind of Christ. Thank you, Lord, that we are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Let's personalize it. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I am more than a conqueror. I keep under my body and bring it under subjection, lest by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. I bridle my tongue. I am swift to hear and slow to speak. If you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. The name of the Lord is a strong tower where the mighty run in and they are safe. From the rising of the sun to the going down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The love of God is shed abroad in my heart. I am led by the Spirit of God. I am full of the Spirit of God. I am gifted by the Spirit of God. The steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Create in me a clean heart and renew in me a right spirit. The word of God dwells within me richly. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word shall never pass away. I am not weak, 
I am not vulnerable. I am not inadequate. I am not needy. I am not wanting. I am not lacking. I am not selfish. I am not incapable. I am not unable. And I am not alone. I am not depressed. I am not discontented. And I am not discouraged. My life has meaning. My life has impact. My life has influence. My life has purpose. My life has priorities. I am disciplined. I am dedicated. I am consecrated. I am devoted. I am faithful. I am loyal. I am fruitful. And I am a finisher. I am increasing. I am abounding. I am growing. I am striving for the things of God. I walk by faith and not by sight. I call those things that be not as though they were. I walk in the order of God. I walk in the will of God. I walk in the ways of God. I walk in the word of God. I am an ambassador for Christ. I am a witnesser for Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The favor of God rests upon me. The anointing of God rests upon me. The outpouring of God's grace rests upon me. I live in hope. I live in belief. I live in expectation. I live in confidence. I will live out the assignment of God in my life. I will live out the calling of God in my life. I will live out the destiny of God in my life. I will continue in the things of God. I will be constant in the things of God. And I will be consistent in the things of God. I have the victory in all things. I will walk in the newness of God, in the freshness of God. I will remain hungry and I will remain thirsty for the things of God. I will walk humbly. I will walk holy. The blessings of God are in my life. I am available to God. I am accessible to God. And I am attentive to God. There is no curse in my life. There is no hexes that can operate in my life. There are no negative witchcraft, vile things that can operate in my life. All the enemy's weapons and wiles and strategies are canceled against my life. My life has a hedge, hedge of protection by the blood of Jesus and by the angels of God. I walk in signs, miracles, and wonders. The pleasure of God is in my life. I live to please God. I will walk out the plans of God in my life. I will live in the timing of God in my life. I will be with the people that God has called me to. 
I will stay in the places that God has me. I will hold to the positions that God wants me. There is no shame in my life. There's no remorse in my life. There's no unforgiveness in my life. There's no worry in my life. There's no anxiety in my life. There's no bitterness in my life. There's no jealousy in my life. There's no competition in my life. There's no envy in my life. There is no guilt in my life. There's no condemnation in my life. There is no judgment in my life. I am protected. I walk in the provisions of God. I've been purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. I've been paid for by the blood of Jesus Christ. My future is guaranteed. My future is future proof. I will offer to the Lord the sacrifice of praise. The fruit of my lips giving thanks to his name. Seven times a day will I praise thee. I will acknowledge the Lord. God will direct my path. I will not be anxious for nothing, but by everything, by prayer and supplications, I will make my request unto the Lord. I will call unto the Lord and he will answer me, and he will show me great and mighty things which thou knowest not. I will pray without ceasing. The peace of God will rule my life. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. If I be saved, God would save my household. I am thoroughly complete in Christ. God will perfect that which concerns me. I will let my yea be yea and my nay be nay. I will not have no lies in my life. I will not have no error in my life. I will not have no falsehood in my life. I will not have no deceit in my life. I will not have no pretentiousness in my life. I will not have any hypocrisy in my life. I will fulfill what God has given me. I will be completely satisfied and content with what the Lord has given me. I will grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord. I have discernment to know the difference between what is right and what is wrong, what is righteousness and what is unrighteousness, what is godly and what is wicked. I give honor to the Lord all the days of my life. I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. I call my family blessed. I call my children blessed. I call my job blessed. I call my finances blessed. I call my income blessed. I am a good steward over the money that has been entrusted to me. I am and I will live a debt-free life. I am not given to anger, outbursts, or rage, or temperament. I thank God for my salvation my healing, my wholeness, my preservation, my happiness, and my safety. I bring everything under subjection 
to God's will, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit that dwells within me. I call this world blessed. I call our nation blessed. I call our state blessed. I call our city blessed. I proclaim that the church is strong in the name of Jesus. I pray that missionarians provision is given to them in the name of Jesus. I pray that the gospel is going to the four corners of this world through all the means that are available. I am a better soul winner to strangers, to friends, to families, and to whoever is put in front of me. The word of God is alive in my spirit. I listen to the word. I heed the word. I obey the word. I meditate upon the word. I study the word. I confess the word. I speak the word. The word of God, the Bible, scriptures, are what I live by, are what I manifest. They drive my decisions. They drive my choices. I do not fear evil. I am not as scared. My sleep is blessed. I will live a long life in the name of Jesus. My eyes will not grow dim. My hearing will not grow dull. I will have full liberty of all my body. My organs and all my vital organs are healthy and strong. I can run and not be weary. I can walk and not faint. I have learned to wait upon the Lord. I am a patient person. I am a long-suffering person. I am a person of great tolerance in the name of Jesus. The blessings of God, the bountiful blessings of God are all over my life in the name of Jesus. My attitude is blessed. My moods are blessed. My perspective is blessed. My outcome is blessed. I am a person of vision. I am a person of discretion. I am a person of great insight. I am a person of creativity, innovation ingenuity. I am never confused. I am never confounded. I am never bewildered. I can never be fooled in the name of Jesus. I hear the voice of my father. I know what to do and I know how to do it. I have great fortitude in my life. I can rebound from adversity. Difficulty, hardships cannot stop me. I will display the character of God. I will display the integrity of God. I am a person of morals and I am a person of ethics. Sin does not have dominion over me. The flesh cannot rule me. Carnality has no life in me. The world I do not conform to. I do not live by compromise. 
Today, today, I am victorious. Today, I triumph in all areas of my life. God will give me the wisdom I need to solve to solve life's problems. God will give me the wisdom I need to resolve situations. God will give me wisdom to know what to do and to know how to do it. I am never at a place where I don't know. I am confident in the Lord. I am secure in the Lord. I am stable in the Lord. My mental faculties and my emotional health is strong in the name of Jesus. I speak life over my mind, over my thoughts, and over my meditations. And my mind is blessed, and I only think on things that are true, honest, just, and pure. I do not have dirty thoughts, negative thoughts, nasty thoughts, filthy thoughts. The devil is defeated. The devil is a liar. The devil has no hold on my life. I believe in the power of Jesus Christ. I believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. I believe in the power of the Word of God. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. All my behaviors, all my mannerisms, all my lifestyle, and all my actions line up with the Word of God. I will not live a selfish life, an independent life, a life of rebellion, a life of disobedience, a life of lawlessness. In the name of Jesus, I joyfully, I willfully serve the Lord. I am a generous giver financially. I tithe and give offerings. I serve outside of the church and I serve within the church. Needs, wants, and emergencies. I am in service to the Lord. I have a strong prayer life. Prayer is stirred within me. The Holy Spirit helps me to pray. And the Holy Spirit intercedes with Jesus on my behalf. God put in me a greater hunger for you. God put in me a greater desire for you. Put in me a greater love for you. Bless my time with you, Lord. Make it more real than ever before. I surrender my life to Jesus Christ. I submit to Jesus Christ. And I live a sacrificial life for the kingdom of God. I put the needs of others before my own needs. I think about what the Lord wants rather than what I will. I crucify my flesh and I mortify the deeds of the flesh. I thank you, Lord, today that you would bless my home and you would bless my car and you would bless my job and you would bless my health and you would bless my income and you would bless everything that concerns me. I give you everything today, Lord. I withhold nothing. I lay it all down. 
I give you my greatest successes. I give you my greatest temptations. I give you my greatest fears. I give you my greatest worries. I give you my greatest anxiety. I give you my greatest joy. I give you everything. You have full access and permission to interrupt my life. Turn me every which way but loose. Intervene in my life in any form, in any fashion. If I veer off or if I deviate, confront me, God. I love the chastening of the Lord. I love the correction of the Lord. I have an ear to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. I'm in the middle of what God is doing. God, I thank you. I worship you. And I praise you today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed uh, our confession. You may want to uh, do your own uh, in a journal and just write out things or play this back and copy them, but be a good way to pray every once in a while through a journal, the confession, the decreeing, and the declaring of something over yourself, especially if you recognize you're vulnerable and you're weak or you're susceptible to certain things, call those things out, whatever you're believing God for. God bless you, and we'll see you next week.